let's try to understand an important concept from physiology that is why a cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized okay so there are three interesting things you need to have a basic understanding about number one what is this concept called tetany tetany means summation of contractions okay it's a summation of contractions which lead to a tetanus condition and what is that electrolyte abnormality in the body which leads to condition called tetany it is hypocalcemia so hypocalcemia because of low levels of calcium in the body there is increased depolarization by sodium and third important thing is we have a safety feature in the body wherein cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized it's a safety feature because if cardiac muscle undergoes if cardiac muscle undergoes a complete state of contraction then what happens we all know diastole is the phase wherein that is relaxation of the ventricular muscle is very important because during the diastolic phase filling of the heart occurs if heart goes into a complete state of contraction then what happens there is no filling of the blood in the ventricle so there is no pumping of the blood so that's the reason we have a safety or a protective feature wherein the cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized now you have this background knowledge of three important things tetany is summation of contractions hypocalcemia in the body leads to tetany and tetanization is not seen in cardiac muscle and it's a safety feature now let's get into the physiological aspects you have to understand the action potential which is seen in skeletal muscle versus cardiac muscle this summation of contractions or tetany occurs in skeletal muscle why as you can see here the skeletal muscle action potential and refractory period are ending just as the contraction begins so this is action potential once the contraction begins here they are ending so that if the next stimulus comes if there is any next stimulus here the contractions will continue okay will continue and slowly they'll reach a stage of sustained contraction which is known as tetany so this summation of contractions ending in a sustained state so this stage is trepe and this sustained stage of contraction is complete tetany so this is complete tetany and this is incomplete tetany or trepe okay incomplete tetany so this happens in skeletal muscle the same thing will not happen in cardiac muscle because in most phases of the cardiac action potential during phases 0 to 2 and about half of phase 3 this is a phase wherein cardiac muscle cannot be excited we call it as an absolute refractory period and even during phase 4 till the phase 4 cardiac muscle cannot be excited because it is in a relative refractory period relative refractory period and absolute refractory period now cardiac muscle has a prolonged action potential okay so that's the reason it cannot contract in response to a second stimulus even if you give a second stimulus anywhere here because it is in a prolonged state of refractory period it it is it cannot be excited and there is no summation there is no summation therefore cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized like a skeletal muscle 